Yeah, over to you, Ariston. Praise God. Praise God, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. So, praise God. Um, yeah, praise God. So, before we go and study, we'll revise on what we learned yesterday. So, what we were seeing yesterday? Can I say? Yeah, 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 Daddy. We learned senses are to know people, but faith is knowing God. Absolutely, yes. God has given this most sure word of prophecy to know him. But even yeah. though we have this simple and easy way to know him, we try to understand through the physical ability. This yeah. is, yes. This most sure word of prophecy is the scripture, which is not seen, but un it is unseen. Jesus, yes. is, we also saw Jesus is speaking about continuing in the word because I may hear the word, but that word will not be producing the fruit. It is like planting the seed on the pathway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then what else? Anyone else? Yeah, Thomas. We saw John 8.30 and Peter 1.20. Yeah. And? Peter 1.20 and 19. Yeah, 2 Peter 1.20. Yes. 2 Peter 1.20. Yeah. yeah, then? John 8.31 okay, so... also. Yeah, 31, 32. We saw consistency is the key for all breakthrough. We saw if I want to experience breakthrough, if I want to experience harvest in my life, then first I have to continue in the word. We saw that the word, but the Bible says continue in that word. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. Anyone else? Alistair, can I share a scripture on this yeah about yes. the we understand god through our physical senses we try to understand our god through our physical senses yeah yes 1 corinthians 4 2 14 yeah yes the person without spirit does not accept the things that come from the spirit of god but consider them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only to the spirit. Praise God. Yeah, yes, that's one of them. There is lots of other scriptures like Romans chapter 8, verse 5, 6, John chapter 3, verse 3, 4, 5, 6, and how you said 1 Corinthians 2, 14. And John 4, 24, there are so many scriptures speaking about 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Praise God. Yes, there are so many scriptures, including uh, which the scripture which you said that speaks about um, see understanding God through the spirit. Praise God. The flesh and the spirit. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, okay, let's continue. So, let me start with the question. Who is a person who has hardened heart? Don't we say this person's heart is hardened? Who is that person? Yeah. Who is sensitive to world? Who is sensitive to word of God? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I use think that is yes. There's no love in his heart. No love in his heart. Yeah. So we think hardness of heart means a person who's cruel, a wicked person, a rebellious person, a stubborn person. Right? Yeah. So what is hardness of heart? That's the question. Who is, uh, what is hardness of heart? Yeah. Yeah, Thomas. A person who has anger. 
Yeah, anger, maybe pride also, also strife. Yes, pride. That's a person who has hardened his heart, right? Hardness of yes. heart. And is world okay. center. World center. Yes. Okay. Okay. Before we go into the word of God, let's um, write something. Okay. When we think of someone, write this down. Okay, someone is saying hardness of heart means wickedness, no love, pride. Okay. Let's see what the word of God is saying. When we think of someone with a hard heart, we usually think of someone When we think of someone with a hard heart, we usually think of someone who is stubborn or rebellious. Who is stubborn or rebellious, right? Yeah. Who is stubborn or rebellious. However, a hard heart, however, a hard heart, however, a hard heart, can also describe can also describe can also describe can also describe the heart of a person the heart of a person The heart of a person. Are you writing? Yes, Scott. The heart of a person who simply disregards the word. Who simply disregards the word. Means, uh, disregard the word means not consider the word. Yes? Yeah, instead of Making my heart sensitive to the word, my heart is sensitive more to the things of this world rather than God's word. Yeah? Yes. A person who does not consider, write down, a person who does not consider, consider the word, a person who does not consider the word, has hardened their hearts against it. A person who does not consider the word has hardened their heart against it. They are focused. They are focused on other ways of life. They are focused on other ways of life rather than God's way. Rather than God's way. Now, hardness of heart. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, right? Does everyone agree with me? Yes. You know what I'm going to say? Death and yes. life are in the power of the tongue. Now, uh, so that means if I speak life, I will experience life. If I speak death, I will experience death. Now, when a person has some kind of sickness or a person has some kind of disease or some, some illness in that body, in that person's body, we pray over them, right? We speak life. Yes. Yes. We speak life. But we see that the sickness does not leave. The healing does not happen. Has that ever happened? We pray over them. We speak all the right words, but we see that the healing does not happen. Anyone know why it's like that? Why the healing does not happen? Can I see? Um, wait. Because okay, yeah, I know. Faith. Because our heart is hardened. We are trained that in whatever we speak, it will not come to pass. We are trained our heart like that. Example, if we say, yeah. you are a dog, we can't turn into a dog. Right? So... Yeah, yeah, because we are trained and our hearts are trained that whatever we speak will not happen, right? Because you're a donkey, you're a monkey, you're a fool, you're a stupid, you're an idiot, correct? All those words we say, right? 
you don't yes. know anything you can't understand anything i'm telling you one simple thing that also you can't understand right we say all these words correct yes, yes. yeah yeah but do we really mean it no do we really mean it no no, no. we, we say mean. words we say words but we don't really mean it and that's when when it comes to the word of god we speak the word of god we confess the word of god but we don't really mean it and because we don't really mean it that is why we don't see manifestation we speak the word of god we confess the word we speak the word we uh, you you know speak the word out of our mouth but our hearts are trained that the words we speak will not come to pass that's why when we pray over a person when we speak life our hearts are unknowingly trained that when i'm going to speak by the wounds of jesus your heal that's not going to happen happen and that's why you know many times you think no i am i'm a sinner i have done this how can you say that if i speak it will happen if i speak it will not happen i am a big sinner I, it will not happen what are you doing your hardness of heart your heart is hardened you think that the words you speak does not have power that is in other words hardening your heart yes are you understanding yeah yeah yes yes now if i'm sensitive to god i am hardened to this world if i'm hardened to this world that means i'm sensitive to the word of god right yeah but if i'm sensitive to the devil now i'm hardened to the word of god put james chapter 4 7 James yes for seven Um uh, put from KJV don't put from MST put KJV Submit yourself therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you so what does this say this says here submit yourself to god in other words make your heart sensitive to god when your heart is sensitive to god now your heart is hardened to the devil when your heart is hardened to the devil now he will flee from you but when your heart is hardened to god now you are sensitive to the devil that is when your heart is sensitive to the devil and that's when we are no longer pondering we are no longer meditating we are no longer considering on the word of god but instead we are pondering we are con- considering on the things of this world that's why i have to be very careful from morning till night what are the words that i'm speaking am i speaking life am i speaking the word of god or am i speaking that am i speaking the things that are in line with the word or am i going and speaking death and death and death no i have to be very i have to be very vigilant i have to have a thought check a scan okay let's go to mark we'll study okay let's go to mark chapter 6 what's a hardened heart let's go and see now mark chapter 6 was 35 Okay. Uh put 33 we'll read from 33. 33 33. 
And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran a foot thither out of all cities, and outwent them, and came together unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as sheep, not having a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Send them away that they may go into the villages, they may go into the country around about and into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. So here he's saying, And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place. And now the time is far past. So the suggestion that they are giving to Jesus is send them away that they may go into the country roundabout. They can go into the villages. They can go into the country and buy themselves bread, buy their children bread and buy their family bread and eat. Yes? Yeah? Praise God. Are you understanding? Yes. Okay. See this. He answered and said unto them, Give you them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat? Now, here he is saying, Give them to eat. He is not just saying just like, just like that. He is saying that on purpose because he wants to test them, not in a carnal way, not in a mean way, but he wants to see what is their response to a problem. And he wants to teach them what is a response to the problem. What is their response to a problem? What is the response to their situation? Yeah? They thought they should go and buy bread. Pardon? They thought they should go and buy bread with, with 200 penny worth. No. Jesus is saying, you give them to eat. Because he's saying, let me see what is their response. And what was their response? They said, 200 penny worth of bread and give them to eat. Okay, this is the first time Jesus is teaching them. First, let Jesus teach them. Okay, see this. He said unto them, how many loaves have you? Go and see. And when they knew, they say five and two fishes. Then, keep on scrolling down enough. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fishes divided he among them all. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up how many baskets? Twelve baskets 12. full of the fragments 12. and of the fishes. And they, and they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. Okay, scroll up, you know. Okay, so he's asking, how many loaves have you? They say, they say five and two fishes. Now, how many loaves? Can five last for? How many people can eat from five loaves? How many people? Five. 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 One, five maybe ten. Yes. One. Not one. Not one. Not two. one. Not one. One or two. One. So, no, it will not be that less. It can be about ten people can eat one loaf. Three. Five loaves. Ten people can eat five loaves. Double them. Yeah. Half half. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, and the two fishes, how many people can eat? Two. 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 Yeah, one fish for each person. So that means it would be roughly about 10 people. Yes, maximum yes. 10, 12. Yes. yes. Yeah. How many people are there over here? 5,000. 5,000. 5,000, not only 5,000. 
Not only five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Only five thousand. Only five hundred. Five thousand. Yeah. Thank you. This more than five thousand. Okay. Yeah. There were not only five thousand. There, there were the children. The children more than five thousand. Yeah. Okay. There were not only five thousand because. There in there would be children, and in wives. those days, they would have lots of wives. Yes, yeah. So it would be if you double it, it will be already ten thousand people. More than ten thousand people. Correct. Yes. 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 Someone is saying fifteen thousand. Yeah, there would be different. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We don't know exactly in number, but approximately. Okay. Now, you know. Why did you change? Put KGB only. Ah, okay, you were showing them. Okay, first got him. Thirty-eight. Okay. So, see over here. This food can only last for twelve people. We said max, maximum. Can it last for five thousand people? No. no. If it no. has to last for five thousand people, they would get a crumb, a particle of a bread. Correct? Yes. Yes. It would be that way. But Only but if more things. Yeah. But here we see it is saying, okay, all were filled. Now, if you eat a crumb, can it be filled? No. 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 But here we see the word of God is saying they were all. Filled. Now, here Jesus knows that this food which he has will not be able to feed five thousand. Right? What did he do? He sat there crying and saying, "Lord, I am teaching all this. Now, when there is a problem, I can't do manifestation. What they will think about me?" Did he cry? No. Did he say, no. 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 no, 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 no. He just blessed the bread. He blessed oh. the bread and fish. Yeah, you know what he did? He took a step of faith and made them sit down in companies upon the green grass in ranks. Ranks means groups of hundred people and of fifty people, fifties and hundreds people. They were sit down, sitting down together, and they were ready for the food to be served. Right? Yes. yes? Yeah. Now. Did Jesus have any confidence, physical confidence, to know that this bread will be enough? No. No. But did he have the no. spiritual confidence? Yes. Yeah, yeah. from the yeah. word of God, because he knows whatever God has given me, I'm blessed and giving it to them. I'm surely know that this will be enough. Okay, now see this and. They sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties, and when he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, scroll down enough. Five loaves, two fishes, two fishes. He, enough. Are you there or no? Scroll down. Okay, I'll put the verse. Okay, yeah. And when he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven and blessed, and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples, who set before them. And the two fishes divided he among them all. Now, was he seeing the problem? No. Was he seeing the physical situation? No. What was he seeing? He was seeing how what God has given him, he can, you know, he can use that for God's kingdom. He had very little, right? Yeah, but when he had little, when he had little, did he say, "Oh, I only have this, I only have that"? Oh no, 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 no. said that. No, but instead, what did he do? He blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to the disciples. Why did he give it to the disciples? To give it to the people. people, people. See the faith of Jesus. Was he confident? Yes. 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 Did he?
We are frozen. And your voice is so not coming. Well, okay, I'll pause my video for some time. You repeat it again because you cannot hear. Yeah, from yeah. where? From where did you hear? From somewhere you were about to say Jesus. You and last you said say it of Jesus. Did it out of Jesus? Did it out of Jesus? Yeah, I did not even realize I got hanged. Praise God. Okay, yeah. So, see the faith of Jesus. Jesus, he never doubted. Did he give? Yes. yes. Did he give? And as they were giving, there was not even one child, one child, or even one person that said, I did not get food. Put that verse in your Uh, scroll down, 42. And then they come eat. Yeah? Yes. Can you eat? Can you be? Someone said yes. See the 42 was. And they did some eat. All. No. All. 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 Was the food, was the food enough for the all 5,000, 10,000 and more than 10,000 people to be fed? Yes. 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 They were full filled, filled. And Jesus took up how many baskets? And the disciples took up how many baskets? Twelve. 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 Not even. Twelve. Is there, is there any possibility that there will be extras, leftovers? No. no. Come on, tell the truth. Any leftovers? No. No. But see how they got not one basket, not two baskets, but 12 baskets full of fragments and fishes. How many baskets? 12. 12. 12. 12. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Is my voice clear now? Yes. yes. Tell me when it's breaking, okay? Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Now, it's not written in the word, word of God, okay? But Jesus must have told them, go, take the leftovers, right? Yeah. According to how I like to see, it's not written in the word, but how I like to see, maybe Jesus was telling them, go, he is telling it to the disciples, go collect all the leftovers. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. And when he told them, see the confidence, is there any possibility of leftovers? No. That's why the word of God says, God is a God of the possible, right? No. Yes. God is the God of the impossible. impossible. Put, put Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. Always. 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 Rejoice in the Lord when my friend speaks to me. Always. 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 Was Jesus rejoicing sometimes? Always. 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 That's why when there was a problem, always. that's why when there was a sick situation, was he worried? Was he depressed? Was he gone into depression? No. No. What did he do? He was rejoicing. He was saying he was blessing it. And how I like to see the word of God here, he's saying he looked up to heaven. He was not looking at the situation. He was looking above what God has promised him. That's why God told Abraham to look up to heaven. What was he telling him to do? Don't look at your situation. Look up. Look to the answer. Look to the solution. That's what Jesus did. Jesus did not look at the solution. He looked up. To the, he did not look at the problem. He looked at the solution that was up. Hallelujah. What are we doing when situation comes? Crying, weeping, going when I'm going to sleep, I'm crying. The next morning, the whole pillow is wet after crying. I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, and I'm gone into depression. I'm gone into, you know, pressurized and all that we start, right? One word, one word, gone. You're gone right? at 
Yeah. Satan has gone and taken us to the roller coaster. Yeah. One word, gone. Amen. Finished from there. How many times? Wait, Did Jesus do that? Me. I said oh. one small word, you're gone. Amen. Finished from there. Yeah? Yes. Don't we yeah. do that? Come on. Be honest. Don't we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Did Jesus yes. get depressed? No, Jesus, Jesus was depressed. giving thanks for what he had. And that's why what he had multiplied. Jesus was only giving thanks for what he had. He was praising God for what God had given him. And because he was praising God for what God had given him, that's why it was multiplying in his life. What is, where is our focus many a time? I don't have this, I don't have that. I don't have this, I don't have that. Even including me. But how many times is our focus on the work? And how much is our time focused on what we already have? What God has already given us? More or focused. As a failure. Thinking, more focused is on what God this. has given us. Most focus should be on what God has given us. More focus should be on yeah. what God has given us. But we are not. But more focus it? should be on what God has given us. Yeah, but where is it? It is on the problem. Yes. We, we start to focus, we start to get worried with what we don't have, but Jesus was focusing on what he already had. And because he was focusing on what he already had, that's why he saw multiplication. You can only see multiplication in your day-to-day -day life only when you focus on what God has made available for you. Write that down. You can only see multiplication in your life when you focus on what God has already made available for you. It's not multiplication. Yes, Kadia, what were you saying? You told multiplication. Yeah. Not multiply. Yes, God. Yeah, multiplication, yeah. If you, if, if you want to see multiplication, if you want to see result, then first you have to put your labor of focusing on what God has already given to you, what God has already made available for you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, there are three hands raised. Enoch, the idea, Thomas. As you said that, Bef uh, prayer, amen. Only this much prayer is there. I remember what th one thing before studying the word uh, in my where I used to pray with my friends. They used to tell me, uh, we'll because we would get free time like this only. We would be uh, very tired after playing. So, before the sleep, we used to pray. So, they used to, we used to pray like challenge, like who prays more than one minute wins. Like this, we used to pray. So, all, all prayer would be more than one minute. And my prayer would be more than one minute, but like this. Thank you, Jesus. Then no words till one minute and at last, amen. Only this much. So I praise God after studying the word as now we are studying, learning the word it has changed a lot. Praise God. Yeah. When I said amen, I was not talking about that kind of prayer. I was saying one word, you're gone. That's all I mean. Finished from there. You're gone. Depression, you're gone into thinking all the oh. wrong stuff. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, do you want to say anything? Yeah. Like when Jesus did in the same way when we battle the devil with the word of God, we will take him on a roller coaster ride in such a way he runs away from us. Yeah, that's what the scripture says. Is this the devil and he will flee, he will run away from us. Absolutely. James 4 7. 
James was seven. Yeah, we have been seeing that James was seven. Yes. Yeah, Thomas, you're the only one left. Yes. I have a doubt. Uh, yeah, you told we doubt. have to, uh, it will multiply if we have faith. Is there any part that we have to do in that? Or is it a, a type of part that God will only, only do it? Faith. You said, we, you said, I said that we will only multiply if I have faith. So our part is to have faith. Right? Okay. Only when I we have faith, now what God has given us will be multiply, multiply in our life. Okay. Only believe. Faith means believe. God is not telling you to work anything. Only to please God is to believe. Okay. That's what when the disciples came and asked Jesus, what must I do to work the works of God? What did he say? Believe. He did not say go work hard, do this, do that. No. I'm not saying not to do those things, but do it out of believing. Yes? Okay. This is not God. Do it like if I, when we do it, God will do it. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Are you understanding? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's go back to Matthew chapter 6. Sorry, Mark chapter 6. Okay. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes. And they did, and they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men. See how Jesus, was he doubting? No. If Jesus could only example, uh, feed 10,000 people, Jesus is saying, because of Christ in us, now we can do greater things than him, means we can feed more than 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. We can preach to so many souls. On the day when Jesus had left, and when, he, when Jesus had left them, and they got the fire baptism, they got the Holy Spirit, okay, and they started to pray in tongues, correct? Yeah, when the disciples yeah. were praying in tongues. We learned right on tongues. Yes. When they got yeah. the gift of tongues, what happened? They, they were, were going yeah. and preaching. And they when the Peter went and preached to how many people? Not 2,000, not 1,000. Peter went and preached to the people. They were afraid of and staying hiding in the house. Yeah. yeah, but once he got the Holy Ghost, he went and preached to 3,000 people and 3,000 souls were convicted. They were changed and they received Christ. 3,000. And we can do even more than that. Yes? Are you understanding? Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Now, imagine... We are all going. Example, Sister Dawson is teaching us, okay? And as you know, if Sister Dawson starts teaching, uh, she will go on for three hours, even 12 hours, 13 hours, right? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And because of that, we all go. All 37 of us go. Okay? An example, I took food for myself, okay? Just because I know, I know that she will take for another... 10, 12 hours without break. So I went with the food. Okay. But you thought, oh, she will only take two, three hours and then she'll have break. And you did not take any food. And the retreat went on. 10,000. 10 hours, sorry. 10 hours. 12 hours. And you did not bring any food. Finally, the break arrived. Finally. Okay, for you. And you're thinking like a fool I came without the food. Like a fool I came. And I brought food only for me. And now that food is given to Sister Justine and you see that that food can feed if there are 20,000 people come and 37 of us have come and you are seeing that little food that can only be feed to one person is multiplying among the 20,000 people. How will you feel? Very, very surprised. Astonished. 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 If I took little rice and little dal and went, 
and you saw the little rice and little dal all spreading and increasing. How would your condition be? And surprised. Me, astounded, surprised, shocked, and... astounded, right? Shocked. Joy. Extreme, extreme, extreme joy, correct? Yeah. That's what the disciples condition. Joy. Because after 12 hours, you are getting to eat. Praise God. I'm not talking about joy about after 12 hours you get to eat. I'm talking about you are seeing a little food spread about 20,000 people. Not 5,000, 20,000. Or even 30,000. How would you feel? So amazed, yes. so surprised. Yeah. Not, oh, because you got so surprised. Not because you got food, but because you got food and also others got food and 30,000 people are satisfied with food. Right? Yes? Yeah. That would be the condition of the disciples. Did they see an amazing miracle? Did they see yes. something wonderful? Yes. Yeah. Praise God. So what is Jesus trying to teach them? See, we have only little. What we have little, let's bless it and give it. Let's thank the above Father and just give it. Yes? Thank you, Jesus. Did you understand? Yes. Yes. We will continue. Okay. There is still more from the 45 verse all the way to 52. And then tomorrow also we will see Mark chapter 8, verse 1, all the way to verse, I don't know. Praise God. It will be, we will study. If we don't finish it tomorrow, we will surely continue next Friday. Praise God. And I will be two similar out. situations like this. Yeah. Two similar, two feeding of thousand people. And, and Jesus two, Jesus yeah, this is coming on the water, and they forgot the food and all. Yes, yeah, yeah, Thomas. Well, you told you can uh, you told us that you can see multiplication in your life. What's the meaning of multiplication? It means abundance. Example: If you have, uh, if you have, um, uh, multiplication biscuit. tables. Multiplication, yeah, multiplication. Tables and multiplying numbers. Yeah, that's called multiplication. Like, yes, okay, but according that? to God's kingdom, if you have 10 biscuits, it can reach for 20,000 people. Yes? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's multiplication. Yeah? Because multiplication is what? Multiplication is what little you have that is enough and sufficient for you. Yes? Yeah. That's multiplication. Because it is blessed. That's why it can be enough for you. Even though it's little, it still is enough for you because you are blessed. Hallelujah. Okay, over to you, Nishanti. Thank you, Alison. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it you, is you know, very important that uh, we don't just listen and think that, you know, because we heard the word, uh, it is fine, but it is important to apply it. So yeah. how are we hardening our hearts? What are we speaking? So there are so many things that we need to consciously do also. Yeah. So if you think that you go for a retreat and hear it, then you are done. Or we come here and listen for half an hour and go, that's done. But it is very important to apply it also, right? Yeah, so it's, a, yeah just... it's a constant battle in the mind. Constant. Right. Also spend time with it. Correct. So those uh, these little children who give the testimony of you know small incidents which they practice, that is very empowering. So those of I mean I'm sure most of us are doing it, but maybe not, uh, you know, giving the testimony. But anybody who's not yet started applying it. Let's start doing it. Okay. Yes. Praise God. So see you all tomorrow. Um, Alistair will pray. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, this time that we get to spend with your words. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us this wonderful truth, helping us to understand the secrets and the mysteries of your kingdom. 
And Lord, as you have studied this word, Lord, you have confirmed this word. We believe that you have confirmed this word with signs, wonders, and practical examples, Lord, that we don't only understand this word, but Lord, we can apply the same word in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this opportunity, this day, this blessing. And Lord, you continue to teach us. This word is sunk deep in our hearts that we can never forget. And this word is going, working in our lives, going into the places that we make errors and is helping us to correct ourselves and live a life according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray, Abba Father. Amen. 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 Thank you, Alistair. Bye, children. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Alistair. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Alistair.